Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Thank you so very much for coming back, guys. I really do appreciate it. And in this video, I wanted to talk about none other than the wide receiving core for the Arizona Cardinals this coming 2020 season. And in this video, I wanted to talk about who I think the starters are going to be. Obviously, we have our obvious choices, um, which you guys already know who they're going to be. And we have those other choices that we either got picked up in free agency, or even coming into their second year. So there's a lot to dissect within this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Roll that intro. Welcome back. Now, like I mentioned in my intro, what I want to talk about is the Arizona Cardinals wide receiving core and who I think the starters are going to be this coming 2020 season. Now, before we get started, if you're a big time Arizona Cardinal fan, please consider subscribing to the Arizona Sports Fan YouTube channel. We talk everything Arizona Cardinals. Uh, we sprinkle in some uh, Suns now that they're going on a run, the Coyotes, as well as the Arizona Diamondbacks. But we mainly talk about the Arizona Cardinals. So definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that like button button and helps the channel out tremendously. And I also released another video named, is the Arizona Cardinals going to win the NFC West? If you're curious to watch that after this video, I'll go ahead and link it up here, put it in the description below, and also leave it a part of like the cards um, at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it here. We all know that there's obvious choices that the wide receiving core is, is going to be. We know that DeAndre Hopkins, we have Larry Fitzgerald, and we also have Christian Kirk. Now, the Christian Kirk, to me, he has a lot of flashes. Um, either he has injuries or the consistency isn't there all the way. Um, I do know with adding a big value piece like uh, DeAndre Hopkins out, out wide is really going to help out Christian Kirk. I don't really know exactly what the plan for the Arizona Cardinals is if they're thinking about putting Larry Legend in the slot. Um, or they're going to keep him outside, or for Christian Kirk, vice versa. Um, in my personal opinion, I would love to see Christian Kirk out wide um, on the opposite side of DeAndre Hopkins and give Larry Legend um, in the slot for a little bit to see how that works out. If Christian Kirk isn't getting separation out there and he isn't making those big-time catches, then we can really consider moving him into the slot and just maybe making him more of a slot-type wide receiver. But I want to give Christian Kirk a little bit more time, um, especially in this Cliff Kingsbury's offense where I know he will thrive. It's just really depending on where he really fits best, whether it's going to be out wide or it's going to be inside in the slot. Those three players out of the way, we're also looking into like who else is going to be the wide receiving core for the Arizona Cardinals. We all know their names. Second year, you know, sophomore players coming into this year, uh, which we're, we're really excited for. Um, I'm curious to figure out who that number four wide receiver is going to be, uh, whether it's going to be Andre Patton, um, who they ended up picking up here, I think, in free agency. I don't really know too much about the individual. I don't even know if he's going to make it on the 53-man roster, to be 100% honest with you. But the main reason why I wanted to have this video here is because I wanted to know who that fourth wide receiver is going to be for the Arizona Cardinals, uh, whether it's going to be Andre Patton, Hakeem Butler, Andy Isabella, or Keyshawn Johnson. I don't know too much about Andre Patton, um, but as far as Hakeem Butler, Andy Isabella, and Keyshawn Johnson, with what I saw last year, it's kind of enough to, to see, like to kind of give a little judgment in what I think is going to be the fourth wide receiver for the Arizona Cardinals. So let's go ahead and dive right into it here real quick. First things first, we got Hakeem Butler. Hakeem Butler is 6'4", a big individual, really, really excited when we ended up drafting him out in the fourth round in 2019. Had so much, so much hype for Hakeem Butler. Um, it was really exciting um, to see him fall to the fourth round and Arizona Cardinals scooping him up. The unfortunate part was he got ended up getting hurt. Like, I believe it was a hand injury, um, but it kind of took him out through the entirety of the 2019 season, which was really unfortunate. I wanted to see what he had, especially going to from the collegiate level to the NFLs, because a lot of times you're seeing Hakeem Butler's highlights or even just his gameplay. Sometimes he really, really looked like a Kelvin Johnson out there, like a Megatron is what I'm talking about. He had the, the tools, he had the body type out there, and he was making a lot of those players in the collegiate level like look really silly because he was such a big body individual and he had sometimes like two or three people try to take him down and he just shed them off so I was just really really hyped up about Hakeem Butler really unfortunate things that happens with his hand um, I hope he gets another opportunity this coming NFL season but with this tight 
crowded wide receiving core. There's also some talks during training camp of 2019 that he had a lot of issues with catching the ball. Like he didn't, he wasn't very like sure handed, which was kind of concerning to me. Uh, but you know, with that comes along more repetition. But if you had a hand injury, you weren't really able to get that practice that you needed uh, for, you know, improving your flaws. For the next wide receiver, we got Andy Isabella. Andy Isabella is a speedster. He's he's known as, you know, running like a 4-3. Um, I think there was also a video with him running like side by side Kyler Murray. They don't really, they never really told us who won that race. It might have been Andy Isabella by just a smidge or it might have been Kyler Murray by just a smidge. Um, I don't really know as far as who won that race, but Andy Isabella's like main, main thing is that he's a speedster. He could take the top off of defense. Um, he just needed to get that those reps that he didn't get last year there was one time i believe in the san francisco game where he didn't quite take the top off the defense because it wasn't like a vertical thing that happened but he ended up catching the uh the ball like towards the sideline he kind of like juked two like two defenders and i believe sherman was trying to run after him but just the speed was just too unbelievably quick that they could not get to Andy Isabella and that's something that's really really exciting for me to see Cliff Kingsbury can get him going in an offense either with some jet sweeps um, with, with something that's able to get Andy Isabella and his traits um, into the offense will just be really exciting to see and then we have Keyshawn Johnson which was also drafted back in 2019 Keyshawn Johnson his main thing was that he was an excellent route runner. I believe they even said that out of the three rookies that they ended up drafting in 2019, Keyshawn Johnson was probably the most polished out of all three of them, which was actually pretty crazy because Keyshawn Johnson was drafted, I believe it was in the sixth round of the 2019 draft. So to say that he was already more polished than Hakeem Butler and Andy Isabella is pretty crazy to hear. Um, I would love to see a lot more Keyshawn Johnson. There was a couple things that I ended up like, uh, I, I liked seeing from him. I believe it was in the Ravens game where he caught a ball that was you know thrown out to him he just kind of did like a quick catch and he caught it it was pretty unbelievable it was it was more kind of like a kind of getting to know your quarterback sort of thing and um, there was some drops that he had as well too so but you can't really blame him too much he was a rookie coming in but honestly Keyshawn Johnson is probably the most promising out of the three um, I don't really know too much about Andre Patton uh, which was going to be the wide receiver that they ended up picking up probably about a week ago or maybe a little less than a week so let's talk about those three wide receivers we have Akeem Butler Andy Isabella and Keyshawn Johnson who's going to be that number fourth wide receiver for the Arizona Cardinals. When I think of this, I really start to think of like the different traits that the wide receiving core that we have right now as far as starters go. And I mean, DeAndre Hopkins, Larry Fitzgerald, and Christian Kirk. The main thing that I can think of is that who out of the three, Hakeem Butler, Andy Isabella, and Keyshawn Johnson has some sort of trait difference than the three starting wide receivers that we have and the main one that sticks out to me is Andy Isabella now the reason for that is because his speed that goes along with um you know running that 3-4 offense and and possibly taking the top off from a uh, defense that's out there that's playing too, you know, too sucked in because they're worried about DeAndre Hopkins worried about Larry Fitzgerald that we can get a Andy Isabella you know all the way out in the post and Murray just dropping a dime out to Andy Isabella so if I were to guess right now um, who I think the number four wide receiver for the Arizona Cardinals is, is I would have to give it to Andy Isabella because his traits are different than those other starters that we currently have right now. Do I think that there probably would be a better wide receiver than Andy Isabella? Yes, I think Keyshawn Johnson is an overall well-rounded, better player. Um, as of like what I've seen so far, I mean, a lot of things could happen from one year to a next year. Um, I know Andy Isabella has been like doing some workouts on its own um, and, you know, trying to get better to make sure that his play translate to the NFL level. But I do feel like so far what I've seen, I think Keyshawn Johnson is an overall better wide receiver, better route runner, better hands. But I think Andy Isabella might win out that fourth spot because of the different traits that he brings into the Arizona Cardinal offense. And the main thing is that speed that comes along with that 4-3 speed from Andy Isabella. But I'm super curious to figure out what you guys think out of those three wide receivers, who you think that number four option is gonna be. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you're new, please consider subscribing. And like I mentioned before, don't forget to drop a like. It helps the channel out tremendously. But that's all I got for this episode, guys. Thank you so much, and I'm out. Thank you.